Hello there and welcome back my Republic Loyalists. In my last LEGO Star Wars The Clone Wars mock tutorial, I forgot to explain on how you get started. As you can see in this video, I am laying down the groundwork with 2x4 bricks. Basically creating a frame around the whole mock. When the frame is done, it is no longer necessary to keep the bricks that tight together. So we give them some space. And of course the space has to be reasonable so we can fit the plates. Creating the groundwork is probably the most easiest and relaxing part in building mocks. You can kinda just sit back, relax, watch a TV show and build. There is not really all that much that can go wrong. And if it does, it's super easy to fix. Watching this part is quite satisfying, but my fingers would not agree. And boom, now it's finished. On to the fun stuff. We have finally made some progress on the temple. It has actually been upgraded to match the size of the magnificent wall. I think it was a good call to do this, but it is a costly one. As you know, bigger equals more parts. But no need to worry, I do have all the parts, I think. What we're going to have to do now, however, is removing all of this and building something new. I do have a difficult time seeing what this will become. What I mean by that is that I don't actually know exactly how everything is going to turn out. Because the only instruction manual that I have is in my head. However, I do trust my own judgment, so I think it will turn out pretty good. As I've said in the beginning, if there is enough space, I might add one tower there and one tower here. The size of the temple is now complete. It really surprised me how good it actually looks. One fear that I had was that it would get too big, though fear is often an illusion. And look at this pretty illusion over here. These blue windows reminds me of Mandalore. Looks great. Also going to be pretty cool is this small doorway here. It's just a sliding small door thing and um, I love them. Ooh, ooh, I can't get through. Ooh, ooh. Anyways, so far so good. See you guys after this whole area is filled in with my- Alright guys, we are back and I've made quite a lot of progress since the last time we met. Count good. I don't know if you can tell, but the right and left doesn't look the same. If you have been keeping up with my mock building for a while, you will know that I always make two different sides. Because there will always be two sides to the same coin. There you have it. That is why my name is Seacoin. About the actual mock, I'm having some difficulties also with designing the inside of the walls. I think this looks pretty good. I might add some tile things here and there, but uh, that's about it on that part. This wall here is pretty bland. I mean, it's probably gonna be a lot of computer stuff and tables, so I don't think those walls really need all that much. I really hope that I picked the right choice because when you're watching this, it's going to be too late to choose. I think I'm leaning more to the left because it just looks more temple-like. I really like this design though, it looks a lot like military-ish and it does have a lot more dark gray parts. And yes, I have been listening to your comments that I, my mocks are too bland, they don't have many colors, blah blah blah, here you go. But anyways, I'll see you guys when some more progress has been made. The choice has been made. The left side came out victorious. You gotta agree, the left side was just so beautiful and I think it really nails the look of an actual temple. Well, let's take a look at this doorway. It basically needs to be opened from the inside. It has this little doorknob piece here, which makes it stuck and so you can basically slide it. Moving on to the wall with the Mandalore-like windows, we have another sliding door. However, this door does not have a doorknob. It just has this part over here. The only thing that I think I have to redo is the wall's design. It just looks kind of bald. And above the big door, we have another left or right decision. I think I'll probably go with this one, though I do have another thing in mind. It is getting a little bit tricky fitting all of these like slope pieces here on the sides, but I think we'll manage. Anyways, that is pretty much it for now, and I'll see you guys once I've made more progress. Bob Adams, I'm back with some exciting news. Well, I don't really have to say anything. Just look at this beauty. This temple kind of looks like it would fit in the city of Mandalore. Just look at the windows. They are quite blue and stunning. And I really like the details with the dark bluish gray. Makes the building pop a little bit better. But yeah, as you can notice from last time is that it, this building is taller and we have a roof. And of course, this roof is going to be a lot more detailed. For example, maybe some ventilation systems here and there, and then maybe a room in the middle. Could be cool, but let's remove the roof. 
Let's take a peek inside. Bob Adam. In the beginning, I wasn't sure if I was going to add this carpet in the middle, but I really liked how it turned out. It kind of gives me the same feeling that the Jedi Temple did. This is pretty much a hybrid of the Jedi Temple and like some Mandalore stuff. Let's just say I've been having a lot of trouble with this door here. Uh, well, I nailed it that time, but usually it gets stuck here between these studs. Let's try again and see what happens. Boom. And now it works, of course, when I show it. <laughs> Whatever. Also added a Republic emblem above this door. Above the Mandalorian window, we have a Republic banner. Just looks really good. The most difficult thing was probably connecting the slopey pillar all the way up there. And I still think it looks kind of odd, but it, it was pretty much the best I could do. Anyways, let's continue our path to greatness. Hello there and welcome back. The temple is now about 80% complete. Let's just say that the staircase really did the temple justice. It looks so much more different than before. Fun fact, it took me like about 15 hours to finish the steps around the temple. Lego can be rough sometimes, but at least now we're done. Now we're going to continue building on the actual temple. But first, we need a couple of steps here, and then we need some sort of an emblem there and some nice design. And then some more stairs at the main gate. And I'm not forgetting this side. On the inside, we're also making some progress as well. What might be one of the hardest parts is connecting this roof to the temple itself. Anyways, that's about all the progress that I've made so far. And by the way, here we have Jesse. It looks pretty good now, doesn't it? For once, I'm actually pretty proud of this build. I really like this little house or like station on top of the roof. It really adds a lot to it. Everything here just turned out very good. And here we got a nice window by the way, and that is complete. Looks pretty good. This door can slide open like this, and then it you can't really take it off, which is nice. So each side has this Republic emblem with this light underneath to symbolize which side you're on. And of course, in the front, we have bigger windows and some big panels, which also adds a lot to its design. It's actually a very simple technique. You just, yeah, easy. And one thing that makes it look a little bit like a small bunker and it looks super cool, it is this design here on the side. Don't really know what to call it, but it looks awesome. And it's using these parts right here. And for the rail like protection side, we're using a little bit of a wavy design, which is quite simple. I am not really good with that, so this is like the best I could do. I really like these, but I don't have any more. So otherwise I would have probably like continued it like that. But I think it still looks pretty good. We're going to add, uh, basically fill these things in with something and then perhaps add some sort of emblem there in the middle. And right here on the side, it's actually getting kind of tricky, <laughs> nailing that like temple look. Uh, here I've removed it completely. Maybe I shouldn't have anything there and just like fill this in with something else, just like connect it there. By the way, yes, I've kind of forgotten about these areas here. They need to be filled in as well. Like here we need some stairs or like steps. Here we need maybe like an emblem or something like that. Here we have made a little bit more progress, but there it's just bland. Before we continue with all the interior and all that, we have to finish off this roof and add some things here a little bit more detail. Yes, this is also something very cool. I'm using these parts right here. Uh, these are actually very good. I found these very cheap on Bricklink. And by the way, the roof can be taken off very easily. Whoop, just like that. Whoop, just so good, perfect. That's all I have for now, but more will come soon. And then we can connect this temple to that wall, sort of.